Google's Alta Vista moment is here. This probably is going to make search completely different from what we have been used to. If you are very young, you don't know what is Alta Vista. All you have to do is go here, click this and ask what is Alta Vista? And then you're going to get beautiful responses from the internet. Yes, this is ChatGPT's search or in short, a lot of people are calling this search GPT. This is a brand new offering from OpenAI that is ridiculously fast. I mean, for example, I can go ahead and ask the same question, copying the question, going to Google, pasting it and asking this question. And if you see this question, like I can ask it again. So if you see, if I don't use Brave, then you would probably see a bunch of ads here. But with ChatGPT, you don't have to worry about ads or at least at this particular point. And in fact, you can go to perplexity and ask the same question. So I'm going to perplexity and then I'm going to paste the same thing. And you can see the amount of time it takes for perplexity to come up with an answer and the amount of time ChatGPT took to come up with the same answer. It's mind blowingly fast. And it's not just, you know, you, know, you think like, okay, ChatGPT is good for this kind of question. It can't do other question. I think today with this new offering called search for chat GPT or search GPT, OpenAI is completely changing everything in how you search. We do not have a lot of information other than them saying that this is a distilled version of GPT 4.0 model. That means they have used GPT 4.0 as a teacher model and then trained a smaller model, which has got connections to some index, probably a bit big given the Microsoft partnership that they've got, because I don't think Google is going to give them the index. So I guess this could be Bing. I don't think this is OpenAI's own search index, but then still it is quite fascinating. So I'm going to give you a bunch of tests that I did. And then I want to show you how good and fascinating it is on day zero. And it's only going to improve from there. The very first thing, what do you go to Google and then ask general questions? That's it. Okay. So let's ask general questions. I'm going to say is paracetamol, cetamol safe for kids? This is general question that people would generally ask Google and you got an answer. The good thing here is that it's not just any answer that you get. You also immediately get the sources and the sources are right here for you to go use. And oh, most of the sources are, I would say, honestly, good. If you see the citation, the search results are almost same like Google. But if you see the citations, they are pretty good. The, the domain authority or what we call as domain trust is pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and then ask something that is related to current affairs. So I'm going to just ask about a cricket game that just ended today, which is between South Africa and Bangladesh. So all I'm going to give is SA versus being B A N G. And then you can see that it is giving a lot of information and it doesn't have the latest information. The very, very latest information that it has got is a test match that happened a couple of days back. So let's go ahead and then ask another question. So I'm going to go ahead and then say SA versus bang, bang, bang. <laughs> second test. Let's see if it can give. Okay. I, uh, I made a mistake. I, what was what a mistake? I did not enable this and I have to search this. Now, if you see, it's giving me the information here. What is the score and everything, including some <laughs> random YouTube video as a citation is available here. Doesn't still tell me that they have won. So probably this is a place where Google could be still helpful for you. The next thing I'm going to search the web. And it gives me a bunch of uh, uh, trending topics. So I can go here and then look for it. I don't know. I don't know. There is Joe Rogan, JD Vance. It, I think this is a guy who's running for uh, the vice presidency in US. So you have information about it. There are uh, citations, citation, citation, citation. And then it's pretty good. So the next thing that I'm going to ask is a uh, very generic information, Nvidia stock. And if you see Nvidia stock, it uh, looks for it, gives you the information. And then there's a beautiful, nice interactive visualization. Very similar like what Google does. Five days, one month, six months, five years. NVIDIA, I don't know why I did not invest in you. That's stupidity. Okay, I'm going to go back and then ask about something else. This time I'm going to ask about weather. So what is the weather in Bengaluru? Okay, so I've just asked what is the weather in Bengaluru? It says as of 3.09 a.m. IST Friday, November 1, Bengaluru weather. This is a weather. Uh, it's quite, quite good. Um, it has got a nice, beautiful table here. You can change the temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And you have got all the other information. Once again, you have got sources. And I think these sources are going to drive a lot of traffic to different websites. 
it's not just that they've got these information though the main thing here is that how fast it is and how fast it is at this point it doesn't have ads as well so for example i can go ahead and then ask what is the best um let's say SaaS for um hosting courses so i've just searched for it it's going to give me a lot of uh, information here a couple of things are thinkific teachable learn words and if I go ask the search same question, I'm going to go ask the same question, copy paste it so that I don't make any mistakes. And you would see that again, once again, I'm using a, a Brave here. If I don't happen to use Brave, you would end up seeing a lot of ads and those ads would probably fill in the top page. And then I have to always use, oh, Reddit. Just give me a response from Reddit. This, is, this has been my search experience mostly. And you would see like other answers are mostly like SEO driven answers. Like you have a lot of core answers, a lot of uh, guest blog posts. If you go to ChatGPT, it's not the case. Uh, I think it primarily is going to change how you are searching. If you are looking for a solution, you are going to love this. I in fact tried it with a bunch of other things. For example, I'll give you an example. One of the things that I usually love to do is what are the favorite biryani spots in uh, Kormangala? This is a place in Bangalore. And I'm specifically asking about a place in Bangalore and then it is giving me a bunch of information. Kormangla offers a plethora of biryani op options and there is a map. It says uh, Meghna food is closed and uh, I, I don't know who's, uh, whose map it is, but, but the sources citations are really good. Why? Because I always go and read Zomato reviews. So that is good. I don't see a lot of SEO related articles. That is very good. And um, Curly Tales is a very popular food blogger, vlogger, blogger, and they have got uh, this one. So probably I'm not sure like if this is a this is a website that I would probably use, but otherwise it it gives me a lot of good information. I've got Meghna's Mani Zam Biryani, Sharif Bhai Biryani, Hyderabad Biryani House, Kritanga Restaurant. I'm, I'm uh, honestly sad that Nagarjuna is not there. Anyways, I can I can forgive ChatGPT for that. But overall, I would say like this is a pretty good. So you have got all these things. This is a very pretty good update for how we are going to search. This is available for plus users, enterprise users, and also who are on waiting list for search GPT starting today. They are also giving you a Google Chrome extension that's going to let you just search from the browser address bar, just like a lot of people do. I, if you ask me, honestly speaking, I think today is the Alta Vista moment for Google and um, it's going to be pretty hard for them to get back on track unless until they tone down on a lot of uh, very bad dark SEOs if unless until they tone down on a lot of ad practices that they've got because a lot of people a lot of founders say that they have to run ads on Google just to make a rank higher for their own website otherwise somebody else is going to run so yeah I think this is going to change a lot of things including how we are going to search if you happen to use a search GPT, let me know what you feel. Otherwise, I think this is a pretty serious update in the business of search. See you in another video. Happy prompting.